Obama. You, you got Obama phone? Yes, everybody in Cleveland, low minority, got Obama phone. Keep Obama in president, you know? He what? gave us a phone. He gave you he a phone. Do more. How do he give you a phone? You, you sign up if you're you on food stamps, you on social security, you got low income, you disability. Hey, I'm your voice. Okay, what's wrong with Romney again? Romney, he sucks. Hey. I'm here trying to get some Obama bucks. That's what I'm doing, trying to get some Obama money. I ain't here to get some benefits. You know what I mean? I'm here to get a check. Bitch, I want a check. Tell me why you like Obama. Because he gives me stuff. Who are you going to vote for in this election? Obama. Why? Because he's black. So what do you get from the government? Tell me everything you get from the government. All I get, stamps, public assistance. Medicaid. We call it money in the bottom. We call it money in the bottom. What kind of benefits are you getting? Oh, let's see. Whatever the hell they got to offer, like, I don't even know. It ain't like they got a checklist, like, nigga, we go offer this, this, and that. I'm just here to get what I can get. Food stamps, it's just food. It's like food. When was the last time you actually worked? Oh, uh, we say about half a decade. But you're a perfectly healthy young man. Why aren't you working right now? Because my background. Once you go to jail, it's hard to get a job. Why should I help you? Why should my tax dollars be going to you? Only because my ancestors came here and helped build this place. What do you mean? My ancestors, the slaves. How many kids do you have? I have five. How many mothers? Four baby mothers. Four baby mothers? <laughs> do you really want to work or you just, you just want to get a free check? I just want to get a free check. <laughs> I stopped with uh, my little mortgage and, you know, paying my lights and gas bill. So thank you, Barack Obama. We love you. Actually, right now I'm homeless. I stay with my grandmother and I'm trying to get a place of my own. People started lining up as early as midnight out here. And you can see right now thousands of people lined up both outside Cobo Hall, snaking around the building. Same goes for inside. Huge lines everywhere. But the real chaos this morning was at the front entrance inside near the ballroom where people were waiting to get an application. Reports of fights this morning and nearly a stampede. Chaos at Kobo. Thousands of people lined up to pick up applications for housing assistance. No organization whatsoever. When we got down here this morning at 5, 5.30, it was calm. But then a mass of people started coming in around 7.30, and they, like, took over. They pushed me down. Near the front of the line, too many people crammed into too tight a space, waiting for the doors to the ballroom to open. This is ridiculous. People falling out, fighting. This is crazy. This is really crazy. It ain't worth all this. Today is the deadline for applications to be postmarked in the mail or be dropped off at Cobo Hall. But most people are here just to pick up applications and get them filled out. This is a travesty. I've never seen anything like this in my life. The city has to take accountability for what's going on. That's the problem with the city of Detroit. No one wants to take accountability. No one wants to organize things like this. This didn't have to happen like this. People out here absolutely furious as to how this was handled this morning, and they have every right to be. There were several ambulances that have been out here uh, treating people for medical attention. Many people were passing out this morning because of the huge crowds inside. Now, we just got an update from City Hall. They say if you are not down here, do not come down here. There are just too many for this. Her emotions ran high following Obama's speech. It was the most memorable time of my life. I, I, it was a touching moment because I never thought this day would ever happen. I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me. Let's go to the audio sound bites this week. Here's a portion of Ken Rogolsky reporting on WJR in Michigan. Two people here in line for Obamacare. Why are you here? To get the money. What kind of money? Obama money. Where's it coming from? Obama. And where did Obama get it? I don't know. His stash. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where he got it from. But he's giving it to us to help and us. We love, we love him. That's why we voted him. for him. I sure did, and I filled it out, and I am waiting to see what the results are going to be. Will you know today how much money you're getting? No, I won't, but I 
I'm waiting for a phone call. From? I believe it's coming from the um, city of Detroit or the state. Where did they get it from? It's the funds that was given by Obama. And where did Obama get the funds? Obama might have gotten the funds from, um, I have no idea. To tell you the truth, he's the president. In downtown Detroit, Ken Rogulski, WJR News. Now, let me, let me put this in perspective. This is the model citizen in Barack Obama's vision.